from some scary construction jobs to working side by side with some of the most dangerous beasts, here are riskiest occupations in the world. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. But first, we'd like to thank Peter Plays for leaving us this comment on one of our recent uploads. Let us know if you have any experience in any of these crazy jobs in the comment section, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 17, Bug Sting Researcher. Don't really mind getting bit by mosquitoes or other dangerous bugs? Think you can make a living from it? Try being a mosquito researcher. If you've seen the channel Brave Wilderness, the guy Coyote Pete will torture himself by seeing himself with tarantula hawks, bold ants, and other frightening insects. But you better believe he makes some money doing it. Being able to know how these things affect the human body can be quite useful for people coming up with vaccines or other products. It seems like a pretty brutal thing to do to yourself, but salaries can range from 50 to 60 grand a year. Number 16, Golf Ball Diver. Those golf balls you casually hit into the lake are actually pretty expensive. Instead of just letting those go to waste and sitting at the bottom of the lake, these people go and dig them up. In some places, this could be a little bit dangerous. It's commonly known that alligators like to roam these bodies of water, and that's something these guys gotta deal with. Qualifications only include basic scuba diving and general diving experience in order to receive a salary of 50 to 100k. The job can be seasonal with plenty of vacation time too. The water can also be a little bit questionable when it comes to bacteria and different types of microorganisms. Number 15, Scrap Metal Looters. There are a ton of precious metals out there just sitting around waiting to be scrapped up and sold. Even cars you see every day contain rhodium, platinum, and palladium inside the catalytic converters. This part of the engine helps reduce the amount of smog into the atmosphere. Vehicles such as SUVs and large trucks have larger catalytic converters, meaning scrap metal looters can rake in a pretty decent chunk of change. After this key component is stolen, the car will no longer properly work. Each one can be worth anywhere from $20 to $240, and normally, aggressive thieves can snatch about a $1,500 a day salary. Number 14, Underwater Bomb Disposal Experts. The oceans can be a dangerous place out there, and in certain places, you need to be worried about more than just sharks. The North and Baltic Sea areas of Northern Europe will still contain active underwater mines which can go off from fishing boats or basically anything. Many were left from World War II or from the Soviet era to protect naval harbors. There's an estimated 1.6 million tons of conventional and chemical weapons in German territorial waters. Being able to disarm these can bring in quite a few bucks and people can actually make a living of 100 grand a year specializing in this risky profession. They're generally employed by the Navy, where they receive intense training in scuba diving, etc. Number 13, Bomb Squads. You can probably already guess this one is dangerous. Dealing with large amounts of heavy explosives and potential terrorist attacks, bomb squad personnel never know if they're gonna get blown to pieces at any moment. Despite the expensive and protective suit, one wrong move, and this guy could get blown to smithereens. Number 12, Fishermen. Especially fishing off the coast of Alaska can be quite a hazardous profession. These fishermen risk their lives in order to provide us with some of the best seafood in the world. Commercial fishing is not for the faint of heart. If one of these guys were to fall overboard into the sea, the harsh oceans could either freeze them to death or drown them. Almost 95% of the U.S.'s supply of salmon comes from Alaska, so it might be a tough job, but someone's got to do it. If the vessel is to flip over, everyone is at risk of dying unless someone comes to the rescue and quick. It's considered to be the second deadliest job in America, and 80 out of 100,000 fishermen will meet their end. Number 11, Miners. Mining is often listed as one of the most dangerous jobs in the world, if not the most. Each year, miners around the world will become trapped underground as their mine collapsed without warning. A mining disaster in West Virginia was a harsh reminder how even mining operations in the U.S. can go horribly wrong. Mines can become flooded, equipment can catch on fire, ventilation failures can lead to suffocation, which all seems pretty bad. Coal is even more dangerous than mining metal since coal can release methane gas and explode. Even the dust can cause terrifying explosions when ignited. Illegal mining in places such as Africa have made diamond mining cause more concerns over child labor laws. Number 10, race car drivers. You can probably understand why this one is pretty risky. Speeds in multiple cars trying to beat each other would seem pretty dangerous. 
There's enough videos online to help prove that this might be a dangerous profession. About 40% of fatalities on the job come from motorized off-road vehicles in the U.S. Cars catch on fire, unexpected things happen, and with so many special effects during things such as monster car rallies, these things can get dangerous. Even the spectators have been known to get injured. Number 9. Umpires Baseball can be a dangerous sport, no doubt, and there's a reason why these guys get paid big bucks to officiate. Foul balls and flying bats around present a greater risk to these guys getting injured. Umpires can often be violently confronted with a call they made, which has led to violence in the past. Number 8. Mechanics It's common knowledge that mechanics have a rough job. They're often covered in flammable oils, near heavy machinery, and using dangerous power tools. It's also a very strenuous job that requires someone in good physical health. There's quite a few chemicals that they have to deal with on a daily basis, like antifreeze, which can kill people if consumed. Plus a cocktail of hazardous flames that are often breathed in, so they gotta watch out. Number 7. Firefighters Firefighters are known for their bravery, saving lives, and putting out disastrous firestorms that people can only imagine. Many people think it would be fun to be a firefighter, but they don't always consider the potential risks. It's not just fire that firemen need to worry about, there's plenty of hazards that come with this job. Firefighters are significantly at risk at developing cancer considering how much carcinogenic smoke they're exposed to. Don't forget about falls from collapsed buildings as well. Number 6. Farmers and Ranchers Working on a farm with much heavy machinery can result in accidents and therefore it's bad. These are all terrain vehicles that use sharp blades to cut through crops like corn. So you can see why one wrong move could be their last. If your arm or a piece of clothing catches onto something like that, you're most likely going to lose that arm. Tractor overturns, however, are the leading cause for farmers and farm workers. There was an estimated 374 farm worker fatalities in 2013, and the work just seems to be very accident prone. And don't forget about the possibility of farmers inhaling pesticides that they use to keep bugs off their crops. Number 5. Iron and Steel Workers As times continue to advance, buildings get taller and more complex, meaning more heavy machinery is needed to complete them. Balls are quite common for iron and steel workers who risk injury climbing steel beams. They also risk getting hit by swinging or falling objects. Improvements have been made to keep these workers safer. This includes, for example, adding four bolts instead of two in order to properly secure beams from making any unplanned movements. Despite the recent changes, still 37 out of every 100,000 workers will still end up meeting their end due to injuries on the job. Countries who are trying to urbanize at a fast pace such as China, Bangladesh, and India might suffer the most from faulty construction. Not only is that bad for the occupants, but also the construction workers. You can tell from this photo here, taken of a project in Turkey, that you will have to be comfortable with heights. Number 4. Electricians The challenges of having to deal with electricity on a daily basis is going to eventually result in some fatal electrocutions from time to time. In 2014, an estimated 79 electricians died while on the job in the U.S. They also have to deal with the dangers of fire and explosions, extreme temperatures outside, excessive bird droppings, and possible asbestos installations inside buildings. It only takes a small amount of electric current to make something go bad. Number 3. Astronauts Despite it being a pretty cool job that many of us dream of, astronauts have the risky job of exploring the unknown. When they're outside the confines of their spaceship, they must wear their protective suit or risk dying. Not to mention that the Earth's atmosphere is beginning to become more polluted with space junk, increasing chances of collisions. Despite the years of training, they have to deal with G-forces that can make anyone nauseous. People are also known to lose a great deal of muscle mass upon return, and sleeping with no gravity can often be difficult. Number 2. Zookeeper You can probably imagine why being a zookeeper can have its challenges. Trying to keep wild animals somewhat tame can prove to be impossible for a long period of time. Eventually, they'll just resort to their violent ways again. Even if it's just trying to feed some animals, it can prove to be a risky task. Some of them may appear to be under the influence of tranquilizers, but can still wake up randomly if it wasn't a proper shot. Protocol must be strictly followed when feeding these wild beasts, or you could end up being their lunch. And number one, taxi drivers. Picking up a completely random person in the back of your car that could possibly be a terrorist or a felon makes this job quite dangerous. Cab drivers are often easy targets for robberies since they normally carry cash in the car. They need to keep a close eye on what's going on behind them or they may end up in a chokehold with a gun pointing at their heads. This cab driver on a Las Vegas News Twitter account had to fight for his life when a perpetrator wrapped his arms around his throat. It was only for a measly $38. An average of 34 cab drivers might meet their end each year. Let us know what you think and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.